Welcome! If you do not have much experience with academic research databases, the record entries can be very overwhelming and confusing. In this video, I will outline what the various sections mean and what type of information they contain. Now that we have filtered our results, we are ready to start looking at them more closely to determine if we might be interested in using them for our assignments. From the results list screen, we can see the article title, authors, and publication information. We will select Show All Abstracts, found towards the center of the toolbar just above the results list. This will open all article abstracts so that you can view them directly from the results list screen. You can see that Scopus highlights your search terms in the abstract. This allows you to see why the article was retrieved. If you are receiving a lot of irrelevant results, have a look at the highlighted terms to see if they have been misinterpreted by the database or may have a different meaning in a different discipline. If you are interested in the article, click on the title. This will open the Document Details page. Here we can see the title, authors, publication information, and abstract. Below the abstract are keywords. Author keywords are provided by the author, while indexed keywords are assigned by the database. Have a quick look at the keywords to see if there are any additional terms that you may want to add to your search. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you can see the references list, which contains all of the sources cited or used as evidence in this article. Lastly, on the upper right hand side, you can see how many documents this article has been cited by. Click on the articles listed to view more details. Continue on to the final video in the series to learn how to access the full text version of an article from Scopus. Thanks for watching and happy searching!